Welcome back to the Morning Plan. You may have heard the news that recently the Pentagon reached a deal with Lockheed Martin to produce the world's most advanced fighter jets. It is the F-35. Joining us from the mile-long factory in Fort Worth, Texas, is Chief Test Pilot Alan Norman. Good morning to you, Alan. Good morning, Molly, and welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, um, the space behind you is incredible. I've never, I'm, I'm quite sure that most people have never stepped foot inside a place like that. Well, you're right. It is incredible here, and as you mentioned, the building that I'm in is a mile long, where we bring all the pieces and parts of an F-35 together, and then put them together with the refinement of the thickness of a human hair to produce this airplane that is what we call fifth generation. In other words, we take attributes of stealth, of advanced systems, avionics, and the ability to share those among our airplanes. When we do that, we present the pilot with unprecedented situational awareness. And the airplane, because of its stealth characteristics and that situational awareness and the ability to share the information, give our men and women that fly the F-35 in the services the ability to go in harm's way undetected, do their mission effectively, and come home safely each and every time. I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm curious about the F-35 program and how exactly it helps our security. And it sounds like a big part of that is that it goes in, as you mentioned, undetected. Yes, exactly. So this gives our fighter pilots a quantum leap in capability over what they had before. And not only a quantum leap in capability, but now with this new um, contract that we have with the United States government, we're able to afford this or offer this capability at a much more affordable price. This, at this point in time, this airplane is at its lowest price that we've ever had. We continue to relentlessly work on affordability while we work on increasing capability. It's interesting that you mention economics because I wonder if there are local companies, local contributors to this, and also what the economic impact is of that. Yeah, in Wisconsin specifically, uh, the economic impact is over $1.2 million tied to the F-35 program. Have costs been less, do you feel, than previous generations of Air Force fighter planes just in general? they are that milestone that I discussed which we reached a year earlier than we had planned is letting us have an F-35 now at the same affordability cost as it costs to have a fourth generation airplane in other words for the for the cost of a fourth generation airplane we're able to offer the capability of a fifth generation airplane I think that's tremendously cost effective and again translates to more and more airplanes for our men and women in service and more safety for them. I think as taxpayers, we it, are very interested in the safety of our military, but also the bottom line. And it sounds like we're serving both purposes. We are, and in, in conjunction, not it's, this isn't just Lockheed, this is in conjunction with our government partners and our industry partners, our suppliers, all across our supply chain. Uh, we have been working diligently, relentlessly at this because we know how important it is. And because of that, we not only have 450 airplanes flying around the world right now with more than 900 pilots trained, but as you mentioned, this new arrangement is for 478 more airplanes. Wonderful. So the more the better for our men and women. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Molly, thank you for the time. And the website to visit for more information is LockheedMartin.com.